Hello everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today I'm back with another interesting interview scenario that we are going to discuss. That is finding your first uh, order of the customer, second or like that nth order of the customer. Okay, so we'll try to you know solve this. This was you know frequently asked in multiple interviews in your L2. So I wanted to cover this. So let us get started without wasting much time. If you're new to my channel, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. See for that first, I'm trying to you know take our uh, customer name and I'm trying to drop it in uh, view and then I'm trying to take uh, my order date and then I'm dropping it here and I need uh, maybe exact date here. Now my intention is like I want to find out what is the first order of the customer. So when did this customer order the, for the first time 18th was the first right and 7 3 21 was the second like that user wanted flexibility to choose whatever the order he want. And then, basing on that, whatever the order is there, that should get displayed. That is the intention. So that will have again parameter control. So for that, first, like how we used to find using first approach is LOD expression. So this is specifically for finding your first customer. I'm writing LOD uh, first order, and I'll just simply take. We all know this, you know, a fixed customer name. And for each customer, I need a minimum of order data. So if I we do this for each customer, so how can we read this? Fixed means for each, for each customer, give me minimum order date. Now in this case, what will be the date for Aaron 18 second or 18th February was the date on which he placed his first order. That is the first method, right? So I'm just trying to you know bring this into my view. And maybe I'll just drop it here. And uh, again, I'll take the script. It is giving us this date, right? This is your first approach. Now, second approach, we wanted the flexibility. We wanted to improve, you know, so that you know it can be more dynamic. So the first thing that we can do is we can create an index. Okay, so what I'm trying to do is I'm, I have a field called as index here. Okay, I'm simply using this index here. So what does index do? It will create a row numbers, right? But that is what, that is where we need to customize that. Okay, now I'm just dropping it again, making it discrete. We got some numbers, right? But these numbers are not according to how we need. We need numbers to get generated, you know, for each customer. Okay, so what I'm doing is clicking on this and going to compute and I'm just clicking on customer name here. So for each customer, it is giving me this, right? But I'm just going to edit the calculation and I'll select order date now. Now observe. So how it is doing for each customer, it is giving me dates. Okay, you can also uh, click on this restarting every customer name. So for every customer, my index will restart, which means from first it will try to number that. So that is one way of resolving that. So I'm just clicking on uh, closing. So we got some index number here. Now what we need is we need a parameter to control, like whatever the number we want, we can control. So what I've done is I've just created a parameter called as nth order. So from this parameter and the user will enter the number, whatever the he, whatever he need, like one, two, three and all, like based on the availability. So this parameter I'm just trying to use in my calculation, okay? So I'll just click on equal to and uh, This is the simple calculation that we have written. I mean, I have written index is equal to nth order. So from parameter, what do we will get? We get the number that the end user wants. And from index, the standard index number. So I'm simply for our understanding, I'll just pull this and drop it here. We got it true, but uh, I'll just uh, cancel this and I'll click on show parameter. Now, if I enter, see, because it is one by default for the first order of per customer, it is giving true. See here, true, 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 like that. Okay. But if I enter two now again, if the two is available, that will become true. See here. Again, true here. 
in the second case again uh, here we'll see where the cust we do not have any orders beyond two maybe i can uh, we will check with the so here how many cust i am trying to select fourth here so fourth i have entered fourth here now for aaron we have only three orders right he placed only three so because none of them is you know satisfying the condition it is becoming false but check this aaron the second aaron for fourth we have so it is giving true so simply i can use this uh, parameter or this calculation to solve and i can put it on color shelf or you know if at all i want it in filter i can also do that so that is your again second method of doing it you can also do it using your third method approach uh, again that we can do using lod function and uh, okay one second what it okay main order so this we can do using uh, rank function so first what did we use we used lod function to calculate and then we have found the minimum order date then we have used index approach and the third option is you know rank here okay so i'm using the rank unique and again minimum of order date in with respect to your ascending or descending whatever the order you need same thing i can you know uh, i'll just rename this to avoid confusion uh, nth order rank okay so i'll just try to pull that and drop it here maybe again we need to convert that into discrete okay now you see how the rank is getting generated i'll just put it right next to this so this ranks are not in order right again we need to order it which means what we need to play with the compute using option compute using again we need per customer here so again one i got let us go ahead compute edit table calculation so i'm selecting order date as well okay and restarting every customer name now again our rank is set now you can use this in, in our nth order of customer like which we have here you can use index to get the number you can use this nth order of rank or customer whatever the calculation you want you can do it and bring it so very important you know it was asked in l2 level to resolve this on the spot if you are able to do it in this method chances are pretty high that you will get succeed in the interviews i hope this video has helped you if it does don't forget to give your valuable feedback see you in the next video till then bye bye and have a good day